Hello everyone. Uh, here I am in uh, Freieweile. Freieweile. And uh, it's a nice quiet town. It's uh, right on the beach on the uh, western side of uh, Zealand. It's a big island with Copenhagen on it on the other side. It took two hours to come here by public transport and uh, I have to say I'm sitting in a, a cart, uh, founded here by the by the pier. I think it's a, it's a ritual of the Danes before they embark on uh, on journeys over the sea. They they have these carts. It's like a shopping cart without wheels. I think it would be more dangerous with wheels because it would it could roll into the water. Um, it fits one, but there's another one, so uh, could be two. Um, you know, sometimes uh, people come in pairs. <coughs> the Danish are typically monogamous, so two is a good amount. It's pretty windy today, um, pretty warm for a March day, so uh, it's kind of the first day of spring really, not really, yesterday was, was the same, so I guess the second day of spring or something. Um, about 10 degrees, I can't check because my phone is filming but uh, it feels like 10 it feels like 10 degrees with the wind it's probably a bit warmer um, not so many birds I uh, might have scared them off but um, <clears throat> yeah it's nice out here peaceful Alright, uh, here you can see this big tower in the distance, it's called uh, the Fire Violet Tower, or Fire Violet Tower, it's a pretty big deal, the, it's one of the biggest uh, things, and uh, it's much bigger really, uh, it's, it, it looks small because it's very far. Uh, I think that's why they call it Far Weile. It's very windy out here, but uh, the tower has been up for a pretty long time, so <clears throat> it can handle some wind. I think I need my my hoodie on because it's pretty cold. Yeah. On a good day over in that, that direction, you can see the other islands. Yeah. 
yeah basically this way uh, the other islands are called uh, Zealand something no this island is called Zealand Zealand something and Fun is that one over there it's actually really big but uh, you can barely see it yeah you can see it Zoom in a bit there. It's recommended to use these for support because, uh, you know. here by the water I'm uh, going to attempt to touch it uh, they say it's pretty clean but uh, as you can see there's not a lot of people on the beach so uh, nobody really knows for sure so I'm just gonna try it and uh, let's see how it goes It's wet. I did it. Wow. Oh. Wow, big waves. Uh, I think this was gonna make some big waves. <laughs> as, uh, as proven by actual waves. I think I'm gonna drink it. Got my little Danish Danish bottle here. Okay, no more, no more finessing, here we go. <clears throat> okay, here we go. And here we go. Feeling pretty Danish. Wow. Make some more laugh today. Good idea. <laughs> it's 
safety wind setup. Trusty hat. Hello. 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 I wonder how people get to this boat. I have to go through the water. I should have parked it at the at the pier. Much easier. There was once a guy who could walk on the water. Uh, then it would make sense. But uh, most guys, right to the bottom. See? Wet. Luckily I have shoes. In World War II, uh, the Germans bombed Denmark, especially the beaches, and uh, left a lot of shells. And after the war, the Danes made a lot of young German boys pick up those shells. And uh, you can still find some even today. True story. Those were some tough times, and uh, we we don't want to go back there. We gotta look to the future. I have here with me 
a resident of uh, Fireville. Fireville. Good day. Let's talk to them about uh, this area. What can you tell us uh, that's special about this place? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not long ago. I basically, uh, for my viewers. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to be rude. Uh, I'm just... Excuse me. Now look here, listen. I'm not gonna stand for this kind of talk. I mean, uh, I'm very uncomfortable. Okay, listen, uh, you can just go. That's fine. I won't take any more of your time. Not every one from uh, fire is like that of the houses in Fireville are for sale and uh, nobody's buying. Why is that? I don't know. Um, a lot of the land on the moon is free for the taking. Why aren't people buying that? I don't know. Out at sea there are uh, no laws so anybody can take whatever they want why is that i don't know a lot of these rocks are uh, pretty small some of them are bigger why is that i don't know i have decided to walk the entire length of the beach and uh, I have not gotten one bit smarter. So, uh, well, one thing's for sure. Sure is night out. One thing's for sure. Sure is nice out here. As I walk and talk, you might recognize that I went too far and now the camera is behind me so you can basically see my back, see where I came from. Uh, that over there is the big tower we talked about earlier. Uh, and the pier, I don't know if you can see the pier very well, that's the boat. Uh, those chairs are also over there. <sighs> I 
I think if I lived here, I'd basically just walk up and down this beach a lot. And uh, I wouldn't get anything done. Let's throw some rocks. That was fun. One of the favorite pastimes of a fire violin, as they like to call themselves, is uh, sitting around on benches like this one that you can find around the city. And uh, I'm gonna try this. So, <clears throat> I don't really know how to use this, as you can see, it's pretty hard to not get your pants all green and stuff, and it's not very comfortable. Uh, I mean, you get used to it. So, I'm gonna try to sit here. get sick no. mm, gotta get the hair on the way first and then hey the green stuff on your pants will match the Anybody can just sit around for five minutes. Hardest thing I ever done. Damn. 
yeah boring out of my mind try different positions more green stuff on my pants gonna have to wash these Okay. For those of you who know a bit about world history, it is clear that the control panel of the world is located underneath the Romanian mountains. Well, the control panel of Fireweile is located right here. We have a bunch of power plugs and uh, interface access to plug in your various devices that you want to use to control the uh, control panel and um, some health in case you overexpose yourself to this great power that you get from, from controlling fire violet and over here is a map that shows the uh, extent of, of this power so basically, it's mostly water, but uh, there's a bit of a land here, so it's a bit smaller in capacity. And finally, a uh, rusty shovel to, uh, let's say, bury those who get in your way. to put it bluntly. Uh, now you'll excuse me while I quickly...
Let's go, I'm hungry. 